I'm sleepy, y'all. What is up, guys? John the Shane here at the Keto Road. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I'm excited. The third and final episode of the Therapeutic Ketosis Experiment. I hope y'all enjoyed the intro. Just showing y'all a little bit of my Sunday morning. Um, I actually just left that church building. Uh, had a really good Sunday. Good coffee. Good friends. Good love. Loved it. Uh, we are on our way to the in body. So we're going to go get the test of the test. We're going to see what's happened these past two weeks with my body composition wise. And then we're going to sit down. Um, I have a client call. After that client call, I'm going to sit down with you guys and we're going to talk about the ins and outs, what I liked about it, what I didn't, and what I'm going to be doing going forward for the next couple weeks. All right, guys, let's do it. Oh yeah, the depot of nutrition. We are here. We are here, people. All right, guys. So she got my in body. Um, it was okay. We'll talk about it um, more in a little bit. I have a client call very shortly, so I'm gonna rush home. I will talk to y'all about it afterwards. What is up, guys? All right. So I just got off my client call. I gotta go pick something up for my wife. I gotta swing back by the gym on the way home. Not got a quick workout because I gotta get home, and I have to put together plan and workout plan for my client um so i'm gonna hurry right now rush 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 i'm sorry i keep saying after i get this next thing done i'm gonna talk to y'all it hasn't happened yet i'm working on it once i get done with the client and all that i will get back on here and we will kill it okay what is up guys all right so client's done now we can finally talk all right so a lot has happened it's been a busy day. It's been it's been crazy, y'all. It's been absolutely crazy. But I'm here now. We're gonna kill it. I'm super excited for my client. Shout out to Mike. Dude's a beast. Um, super stoked. So right now we're gonna talk about my in-body test. So let me get that. Ah oh, check that out. Alright. So I came in at 197.7, let's see. So I lost a pound, apparently I lost some muscle, gained a little bit of body fat, not much. Um, those are the numbers. Now like, remember what we talked about last time? These tests fluctuate, my water could have been off, I had eaten this morning, I mean, I just kinda wanted to see roughly. So I would say, I didn't change, like like literally nothing changed in terms of this. So real quick, I'm gonna show you all what my calories look like for the week. And then I'll give you my overall review of a therapeutic ketogenic diet. Cool. All right, so here we go. Let's check this bad boy out, huh? All right, so last time we talked was on the 7th, okay? so to, Monday. So as you can see, I kept it a lot more strict. Didn't really break three, broke it once. Um, kept it real nice. We go and we look over at the ratios and we see that I kept it around that chart was looking real weird, dude. 13, 83.4. My carbs were a little high. I'll give it that. My carbs were a little high, um, but my fat was around 83.5%. So all in all, it was not terrible. Um, so that's where I'm at for that. Now, I know y'all are interested, so let's go ahead real quick. This is my tracking folder. Let's go to what my macros are gonna be. So here's gonna be my macros for the coming weeks. So. Um, I weighed in, you know, at 195.8 or something like that. I haven't adjusted that yet. But so we've got 2480, so I'm only increasing it by 75 calories. And what I'm doing is instead of doing moderate, I'm going back to where I was. So the most optimal I was with my prep was right around this ratio. 
about 2.4 carbs. I increased it from 10 to 15 just because I'm in the off season and I felt like it. 17.7 protein, around 80% fat. So as you can see, we're gonna do that and then we're slowly gonna taper up until we get here. My goal is to get around 2,700 calories, but this is where we're gonna stop for now. Of course, this is, um, this is almost Thanksgiving. So, I mean, we'll see where we're at here, but that's the plan for now. I'm gonna follow this and we're gonna taper up our protein. We're gonna taper up our fat. So yeah, that's the plan, guys. So, today was my first day on higher protein, and those ratios I just showed you. And already, I feel more satiated. I feel better um, physically. Mentally, I feel a little... I don't feel... I feel good, obviously, because I run on ketones. I don't feel as mentally focused as I was on the higher fat ratio. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna give a check if I like it. I'm gonna give an X if I disapprove. So therapeutic ketogenic diet overall. Number one, mental clarity. Guys, as you saw the check, I, I totally give this a check. I think that mentally, it was amazing. I felt focused, work was really easy. Mentally, I didn't get stressed out. Work went by really smooth, no matter what. I could focus, I could calculate, I could make decisions informed. Um, I felt great. I felt very mentally sharp and very mentally focused, okay? So I, I definitely approve of this diet for mental focus. Number two, muscle maintenance. As you saw, guys, I approve of this for muscle maintenance. Even though my protein was at 80 grams, which is only about 20 more than it was the day I stepped on stage, I still maintain the strength gains I have made since my prep. I was still squatting my 315. I was still doing my deadlifts. I even rack lifted 475. So definitely good at maintaining muscle. The high ketone ratio will definitely maintain muscle. I guarantee that. Um, so for maintenance for muscle tissue, I give this a Plus, definitely a check in my books. Number three, muscle building. I saw guys, big fat X. I did not gain any strength. Even though my calories are up, I got no stronger. I hit no new PRs and I'm killing it at the gym. Um, I mean, I'm doing back twice a week and I have been seeing strength gains before I started this trial. So I know for a fact that this kind of fat ratio to protein ratio, unless you're eating an obnoxious amount of calories to get your protein a little more elevated, it's just not gonna give you the muscle, it's not optimal for muscle building. I wouldn't, so overall, overall, I would not recommend the therapeutic ketogenic diet for a off-season bodybuilder, for, for, for a performance athlete. I would recommend it for someone that maybe is in a prep and needs more mental focus, maybe they're getting foggy, uh, I would recommend it for someone that wants to overall help with mental health and help with like, I'm sure there's other things that healed in my body I don't even realize. So I, I recommend it for people like that. I don't recommend it for the athlete trying to optimize muscle growth and gains, right? So that's my thoughts. The past two weeks have been fun. I've enjoyed eating an obnoxious amount of butter. Um, but I'm excited to get back to the norm. I'm excited to get back to the usual so that I can just kind of get my calories back up, get back to maintenance so I can start my bulk season. I can start getting ready for my next prep, etc. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed this whole experience. Um, if you're still watching the video, please feel free to comment, ask me questions, little things I noticed, didn't notice. I would love it. If you liked the video, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Y'all are the best. Have a good night.